Baby, you know. Hey ladies, today we're going to be working on a 5x5 closure lace wig um, and we're going to be doing this on the sewing machine so if you want to know more I'm going to show you step by step so stay tuned. <laughs> let's get this popping okay today we're going to be using a 5x5 AC lace closure from my company of course beautiful studios and also three bundles of 20 inch kinky loose curly do y'all see the juiciness in these raw vietnamese bundles yes ma'am okay all links will be below in the description box if you'd like to purchase or you want a custom wig okay so today we're going to be using um, a make your own wig mesh dome style cap okay so we're going to start by blocking out our measurements um the first measurement you want to do is from the front to the back <laughs> Next, you're gonna do the over the head, ear to ear. So you're gonna, if it's 12, which mine is, you're gonna divide it by two and place the six right in the center and that's how you know when you're even on both sides. Then you're gonna do the nape um, and you're gonna do the same thing you did with the over the head. If my nape is five, the middle mark would be 2.5, so you're gonna put, uh, pin it first in the 2.5 and then you're gonna measure out both sides and just kinda, you know, stretch it out and make it look good. Turn me inside out, make my heart beat, leave no one else, you're all I need, personality. And last but not least, we're gonna do our um, temple to temple measurement just to make sure that your temples are, are covered um, and that that hairline is um, even so um, I think mine was 14 and a half so once again you're gonna split it in the middle 7.25 you're gonna go around so now you see that extra room you don't want to just leave that so you're gonna pull that and tug it all the way to the top so that it's nice and flat and you're gonna pin it down and then you're gonna go around and sew and I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm doing that So now that our cap is all completed, we're going to go ahead and start um, applying the lace closure. Some people are able to do it after they've already applied their tracks and stuff like that, but I like to do mine beforehand and I sew it on. So I'm just going to braid it down and make sure it's put away. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring it a little bit forward. So I would say maybe about mm, a half inch um, away from the cap 
and you're gonna kind of line those uh, little sides up you're not gonna tug it and make sure it's extra stretched no just kind of like place it and go then you're gonna pull the back of it just to kind of align it and make sure everything kind of lays nice and flat and you don't want to stretch it too hard like if you stretch it too too much it's gonna make your your closure kind of like lumpy when you're sewing and stuff like that it's not gonna look good so just gently make sure it's laid nice and flat you don't have to stretch it all crazy beautiful and then you're gonna go ahead and you're just gonna sew it right on down um, I like to sew from side to side to, and when I get to the center I stop and then I start on the other side <laughs> Okay, the next step is going to be blocking out your um, where your tracks are going to lay. So you always want to do it an inch apart. Um, and I always start on that line at the bottom. You see where I, where I placed my first line? So whatever that mark is, you're going to do an inch above that. You're going to go to the next one, then the next one, to the next one. Okay? And you want to make sure that you have enough space. You have to make sure it's at least an inch um, of space in between. Because if it's too close, when you're sewing on the sewing machine, it's going to bunch. And it's going to like make your cap really small. So you don't want to do that. Um, you just want to make sure that it's perfectly perfect. <laughs> Brother XR3340 um, sewing machine and today we're going to be placing it on number five um, and you'll know the type of stitch that your your machine is on based on these little numbers on the side here so number five is a nice zigzag stitch and that's exactly what I want to be using so we're going to keep our tension on about seven um, and you know the tension is important because that makes sure that your it's nice and tight that you're you're sewing nice and tightly and then at the top it shows you exactly how to thread your machine um, if you guys want more details on that please let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to give you more detail but it definitely tells you right on your machine <laughs>
So first we're going to start by doubling our tracks. You want to make sure that, you know, um, the center of the two tracks are lined up with that middle line right there on the presser foot. Um, and you're just going to keep on going, sewing it right down the middle. Now the same way that you doubled your weft, you're going to triple it. But now you're going to focus on that bottom weft and the new weft that you're adding. You're going to line it up right there in the center and you're just going to go ahead and sew. So now we're going to sew down our first track. So what I'd like to do is I cut on an angle so that when I place my weft to my wig cap, it kind of just blends properly. Um, and you'll see what I mean. So when we line it up, it looks really good. You see how that just fits right there like a little puzzle piece? It's perfect. Place it right there. It should be right in that middle line. And you're just gonna sew. Don't pull, don't try to overdo it. I like to back stitch so that way it kind of secures the weft even more. Um, and you're just gonna sew straight. Don't try to pull it, don't try to make it extra flat. It'll flatten itself out as you go. So just sew as regular and use your guidelines and just follow the lines. What I love about the sewing machine and making your wigs on the sewing machine is it makes your wigs so much more sturdy and durable. And um, honestly, the only thing that you'd have to change on these wigs, you know, throughout time is the closure or the frontal. Like, that is the only thing that would ever need changing. Uh, but for the most part, like, these wigs are so sturdy and so well put together. Um, but it takes time and practice to really catch the flow and the hang of it. But once you do, like, it's like riding a bike. You'll never forget.
have it, my loves, a perfectly stitched um, closure wig. Um, I love this method. I love everything about sewing my wigs and sewing machine because it's so much more faster and durable. So um, if you have any comments, questions, anything, make sure you guys comment below and make sure you subscribe to this channel so y'all don't miss anything else that I'm doing. And all information for the tools and um, purchasing bundles and custom wigs will be all in the description box below. And don't forget to turn on those notification bells so that when I drop new videos, you guys are always the first to know. So I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a lot. And I appreciate you.